uh, that we should hunger and thirst mm -hmm. after righteousness. Yeah. Um, Jesus said that he was the, the fountain of living yeah, water. The bread of so life. Th the bread of life. Mm -hmm. So these concepts of food being information mm -hmm. or interpretation mm -hmm. of doctrine mm -hmm. um, is uh, all throughout the scripture, yeah. all throughout the New Testament. And uh, so when we're in Genesis, we have to bear that in mind. This is in the encapsulated form. It's not going to be spelt out here, but we have to remember all the other things that we know about Scripture. We can't just read this in isolation. But in any case, in the text, he says, when you eat this food, your eyes will be open and you'll know good and evil. So there's something about this food that goes beyond natural food. And let's read now in verse 6. He's going to talk about this food. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. So here's an interesting concept. Mm -hmm. The serpent tells Eve that this is going to be good for food. It's going to be pleasant to the eyes, desired to make you wise. And she took of the fruit and ate it, and then she gave it to her husband, and he did eat. So the, the common ground mm -hmm. in this story is Eve. Mm -hmm. The serpent gave True. something to Eve, True. and Adam took something from Eve. Eve is the common ground. So whatever our understanding of this fruit is, it has to center around Eve. Mm. That's a question that seldom gets, gets asked or, or looked at in this passage, is what what was it about Eve that so, likened her yeah. to a tree that could produce fruit? So Adam did not partake or take that fruit from the serpent directly. In mm -hmm. fact, he couldn't, could he? No. He took it from Eve. So why couldn't he take it from the serpent directly? Mm -hmm. That would be a question. Why didn't the serpent try and tempt Adam with yeah. the same information? Let me read you a scripture, and I think that helps us. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth wipeth her mouth, and saith, I've done no wickedness. So we see that fruit eating is equated with adultery. And of course, Adam could not commit adultery with the serpent. And so what we have here is, is that we have Eve partaking of sin and then saying, honey, this is great fruit. And then Adam partaking with Eve in that sin. I'd like yeah. to add something too. Pardon me Go for ahead. interrupting your thought here, but mm -hmm. the, the scripture, you know, in, in uh, Genesis chapter 5 says that he called their name Adam. Mm -hmm. so, so both Adam and Eve were called Adam. Right. They both carried the same name. Exactly. But after Eve had conceived mm -hmm. as she did, then it says Adam called her name Eve, which means the father, the excuse mother. me, the mother. mother of all living. How interesting. Mother of all living. So, so out of Eve, we talked about the serpent with mm -hmm. Eve mm -hmm. and Adam with Eve, mm -hmm. and then her name meaning the mother of all living. So mm -hmm. they both had a relationship there. Her name depicts something, and nowhere in Scripture do we find that Adam is the mother, or excuse me, the father, I right. keep getting it messed up yeah. there, the father of all, of all, all living principle. That's right. That's right. And so consequently, we, we're already beginning to see something develop, as you said, this focusing on Eve. Eve, exactly. Yeah. So how interesting that is, is because Eve, uh, she is the mother of, in a sense, we're going to find out two seed lines. Adam obviously could not be. Mm -hmm. And we're going to find out what's going on here. And even in Genesis chapter 6, we find that the sons of God looked upon the daughters of man mm -hmm. two seed lines and again. two seed lines and took unto them wives. And mm -hmm. so there was two seed lines that stayed separate for 1,500 years. So again, uh, we're, the, the Bible is pointing us in a direction, isn't it, Brother Stephen? It, it certainly is. And the, the place that we, we, we sometimes struggle in reading Genesis is we, we get stuck on the concept of fruit. Right. But once we get beyond that natural tree concept, once we get beyond the concept of a natural fruit, right. which we seem to have done here because we agree no fruit could, uh, could serve this purpose. Right. And uh, certainly if the serpent wanted to give Adam fruit, he could have. Yeah. Why didn't he? Exactly. Well, it, had to, it was something that had to go through Eve. Mm -hmm. And there's something that uh, we can look at for a, a minute, and that is that um, this desire to, for, to make, excuse me, he says, pleasant to the eyes. Right. Th 
natural food uh, attracts us because sure. it's natural fruit. It's made in such a way that it's, it's attractive. Now, yep. when we get the fruit, we always get the seed with the there fruit. You if go. you pick a peach or, or an apricot yep. Yep. And, or an orange, you get the fruit, but then yep. you also get the seed that's in that there fruit. And that's exactly the same thing in, the, in this context is that there was a seed mm. behind what the serpent was telling Eve mm -hmm. and that's what caused the, 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 the problem back here in the beginning. What was the uh, symptom of the sin? There Once they committed there the sin, what was the first mm. symptom? Verse 7, and the eyes of them both were opened. So the serpent was accurate. He said you would have a broader understanding of something. Right. You would know more about it than you knew before. Your eyes would be opened. And they knew that they were naked. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do now with the digestive system. Nothing to do with chewing and, and eating and, and digestion. Mm -hmm. But uh, now it's to do with nakedness. Mm -hmm. And of course, when it says, it carries on, it says, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the, the meaning of this word apron, as it is in the English, is a loin covering. Mm -hmm. And one translation actually says uh, that they, they sewed the fig leaves together and they wrapped them around their hips. Mm -hmm. And so we've no question what's being referred to in this passage. Right. And the, 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 the path that we're being led down in right. this narrative mm -hmm. is that we started with food and we're ending with sex right. because now he's exactly. talking about the, 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 the private parts of Adam and, the and Eve, the, right. the body. Why this connection? Mm -hmm. He said, well, it was just their consciousness of sin. Uh, once it became conscious of sin because of the disobedience, uh, they became aware of their nakedness. Mm -hmm. Well, it actually goes a little bit deeper than that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God comes walking in the cool of the evening to talk to Adam as, as he used to do. Adam and Eve are hiding away. Right. And here comes uh, God uh, looking for Adam. And uh, thank God that he always comes looking mm. for us. Amen. It doesn't matter what yep. our situation, yep. we're hiding, but God comes looking for us. And mm. he might be looking for you right now. That's, right. That's a, uh, a principle of Scripture. Amen. God is looking for us. So he comes and he says to Adam, why are you hiding? And Adam says, I was afraid and I was naked. And now in verse 11, God says to Adam, who told you you were naked? In other words, it required somebody to instruct them mm -hmm. in this um, process mm -hmm. that would lead them to know that they were naked mm -hmm. and to take uh, the action of covering themselves. Right. So God draws a direct parallel between whatever it was that the serpent told mm -hmm. Eve mm -hmm. and uh, what Adam did with Eve mm -hmm. to nakedness. And then the Lord says, did you eat of that tree which I commanded you that you should not eat of. Mm -hmm. So now the Lord's saying that tree of knowledge of good and evil is a, a, the, is a, a plan mm -hmm. uh, to produce something. Mm -hmm. That's what fruit is. Fruit is the produce of the tree. To produce something that I never intended you to True. produce. And once he does that and we see the link to nakedness, we know that there is much more mm -hmm. to uh, this story about food and eating than originally meets the eye. If, if Adam uh, had <clears throat> sinned in eating fruit, uh, as you said in a previous service in our church, then they would have put the apron over the mouth mm -hmm. and not over the private parts. Right. It was not what they partook of with their teeth, right. was it? It was a bodily sin, wasn't it? And yet that same sin, uh, eating is uh, tastes good and then it, the, the, the food goes down into the stomach. There you go. This is the same process that mm -hmm. takes place in, in human reproduction. It uh, the, right. the the act is pleasant, and then it ends the ends up in the in, in, the, stomach. in the stomach. So that's the why the, the the this fruit analogy or metaphor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is very very appropriate. Yeah. It's just we shouldn't get stuck with the metaphor. We should take it to what it's really talking about. Yep. And when Jesus comes and he says to the 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 uh, Pharisees. You're of your father, the devil. Yeah. They didn't ask him what he meant. No, nope. they didn't say, "Oh, but it was an apple." No, they said, "We'd be not a fornication." Fornication. Right. And right. so they understood precisely, precisely what Jesus was referring to from the same book of Genesis that we're reading now. Mm -hmm. I also find it interesting that man's natural instinct after the fall was to try to cover their own sin, and in reality, none of us can cover our own sin. Only the blood of Jesus Christ Amen. can cover sin, and that shadow was brought forth in Genesis also because God came down in a body form, slew an animal, and covered their children with coats of skin. Amen. They tried fruit, as did Cain, but God said, no, that's not going to cover sin. Not some fruit offering, not some offering you can offer on an altar, not some works of your hand. 
It has to be the, the shed blood of an innocent one. So God uses the spilling of blood to counteract